People can harbor pathogens on their skin and hands and in their digestive system or respiratory tract. Ill food workers not properly washing their hands and having bare hand contact with ready-to-eat foods are among the most important causes of foodborne illness outbreaks. Human contamination of the sprout during any phase of the growing process, from germination through packaging, can be the cause of an outbreak of foodborne illness. Current good manufacturing practices require that everyone working in direct contact with food, food contact surfaces, and food packaging materials should adhere to good hygienic practices to protect against contamination of the food. Personal hygiene includes good health habits such as bathing regularly, washing hair, wearing clean clothing, and frequent hand washing. Human hands are used for more than just handling sprouts. They may be used to greet others, to comb hair, eat, to scratch, to handle unsanitary objects, and they are used when using the toilet. When engaged in these activities, hands may become contaminated with harmful microorganisms and in some cases harmful chemical substances. These microorganisms or chemicals can be passed to the sprouts or sprout contact surfaces if effective hand washing techniques are not employed. Employees should know when and how to properly wash their hands. Fingernails should be trimmed, filed, and maintained so that hand washing will effectively remove soil from under and around them. Hands should always be washed before food preparation, after touching human body parts, after using the toilet, after coughing, sneezing, using a handkerchief or tissue, after using tobacco, eating, or drinking, after engaging in any activity that may contaminate the hands, such as taking out the garbage, handling cleaning chemicals, or picking up dropped items, or after caring for or touching animals. Improper hand washing is as potentially hazardous as no hand washing at all. Training programs should be designed to help employees understand exactly what is expected of them and why it is important, and should demonstrate proper hand washing techniques. New employees should receive training prior to beginning employment. Principles of personal hygiene and sanitation should be periodically reviewed with all employees. Prominently placed signs or posters are a good reminder. Clothing worn by employees in food processing and production areas should be kept clean. Dirty and soiled clothes can be a source of contamination of food products. Clean uniforms, aprons, or other outer garments that are put on after the employee gets to work can help to minimize contamination from sources outside the processing facility. Clothing, food for meals or snacks, or other personal belongings should not be stored in areas where food is exposed or where equipment or utensils are washed. Clothing and personal items should be stored in a separate, secure area. Hair in food can be a source of both microbiological and physical contamination. Nobody wants to find hair in their food. Food workers should be encouraged to keep their hair clean and should wear appropriate hair and or beard restraints at all times in food processing areas to prevent contamination of the finished products. Hair and beard restraints also discourage workers from touching their hair. Hair can be a source of microorganisms which can contaminate hands and then food or food contact surfaces. Rings, bracelets, necklaces, earrings, watches, and other jewelry can harbor microorganisms that can cause foodborne illness. Jewelry can also fall into food causing a physical hazard. All unsecured jewelry should be removed prior to entering the processing facility. All hand jewelry that cannot be adequately sanitized should be removed or covered by a clean glove. Employees should not eat food, chew gum, drink beverages, or use tobacco in any area where food or food packaging materials may be exposed or where equipment or utensils are washed. Healthy people frequently harbor pathogens in their mouth and respiratory tract. Pathogens can be transferred to employees' hands and then to the food products that they process when they engage in activities where hand-to-mouth contact occurs. These activities should not occur in food processing areas and hands should be washed when employees return to work after engaging in these activities. Perspiration may contaminate food, food contact surfaces, hands, and clothing. Wiping a sweaty brow with a cloth or hand introduces potential contamination. Where possible, facilities should be maintained at a comfortable working temperature. Infectious diseases, accompanied by diarrhea or open lesions, are a source of pathogens. Employees diagnosed with Salmonella typhi Shigella, E. coli 0157H7, or hepatitis A, should not perform jobs that require contact with food or food contact surfaces. 
All of these diseases are easily transferred to foods and are considered severe health hazards.